The Veterans for Peace have World War II veterans, Korean veterans, Vietnam veterans, Afghan and Iraqi veterans all working together to end the war. We who are older veterans need to support our young brothers and sisters coming back. They're going through situations now that we didn't have during other wars. In Vietnam, half of these people would have died. In Korea, half of them would have died. We didn't have in, we didn't have field hospitals. We didn't have the evacuation. We didn't have the medical system inside of combat situations. They're coming back with severe brain traumas, mild brain traumas. Okay. They're projecting right now in the next 40 years, $1.4 trillion will have to be spent in the VA system, in the medical system, to take care of these young men and women that are coming back. And as most older veterans couldn't tell you, that sometimes you can go 10 years before post-traumatic stress comes upon you. It may be some situation. We came up from the Cape to support you folks here. Um, we've worked close with the Lucy family, as we have told you, and that's why we named ourselves after Jeffrey, 24 years old. what you to do is to support the veterans. Don't support the war. Here, here. But we have to look at the troops. And unless you've been in, and God love the courage of these people who can be in and say, I'm not doing this anymore. When you're in the military, you do what you're told. Here, here. It takes a lot of courage for someone to say, no, I'm not doing it anymore. And I, I don't have that courage. I do now. So try to understand when they come home, if they're quiet, if they are alone, if they start drinking, if they start self-medicating, if they seem like they're in depression. Don't let your family member, your friend, your brother, your sister, whatever, don't let them be alone. Even though they may want to push you away, it's true, we can't understand what they've gone through. We can't understand that combat situation that they're going through 24-7 in counterinsurgency in Iraq. 24-7 every day. Two or three deployments. That's not natural. War is not natural. So all I want to say is, is um, we're happy to have come up from the Cape today in solidarity with you people and we thank you, and I do thank those veterans for their service. If I can say that, then you can understand what I'm trying to say. Here, here. Thank you. Can you repeat that website where the, where the military suicides? Militarysuicides.com. Militarysuicides.com. You need to stop. Please try to stop making yourself aware of what's happening when they come back, when they come back, that's when we, we need to support them more and more and more. We can support them by continuing to end this war, put the pressure on the Obama administration. Military.com. And I think that I think that when you do that, you're gonna sit there and just shake your head and say, I don't believe this. But remember that, okay, thank you. In 1951, I joined the U.S. Six months later, I was in Korea, and I turned 18 after six months in combat. When I came back from Korea, after eight months in combat, uh, I was stationed on a base, and I had a complete nervous breakdown. <clears throat> Still only 18. And I ended up at Walter Reed Army Hospital, where they gave me a medical discharge. Uh, so today, I get 100% disability for uh, PTSD. And let me tell you, when I got out of the hospital and back into civilian life, uh, I felt like uh, an alien from another planet. I couldn't relate to people. People couldn't relate to me. People were afraid of me, the way I looked, things on my face. Even today, I have a, a privilege, privilege in green front. Uh, nightmares, I had nightmares then, and I still have them today. And it's been 60 years I was discharged at 54. 
So uh, these guys come back. There's some strange things happening for them. Uh, they're full of fear. They're full of anger. And uh, that's what all I can say. I used to speak in the crowd. The first time I spoke, the I used to speak up in uh, to give some awareness about the PTSD. It's very, very powerful. It never goes away.